Okay, so I'm gonna go on a walk. I think I'm gonna walk to my bookstore today because when I went to the area earlier this week, I saw they decorated for Valentine's Day. So I just wanna look around. Honestly, the best thing I've done for myself is make exercise and working out work for me. Obviously, I like going to my cafes. And to offset the fact that I just sit there and hang out, I am walking. It's small, it's nothing too major, but it's still me doing something, which is all I can ask for. So I'm gonna look around the bookstore first, and then I just think I'm gonna sit near the fountain and read for a little bit.
have five new books. Y'all already knew I was going to get the second Percy Jackson book. I finished the first one. I'm obsessed. I love it so much. I will say after reading the book and watching the recent episode of Percy Jackson, I was like, why did he give him four pearls? Why did he do this? I'm hoping it makes sense. I'm hoping, I don't know, something happened because the four pearls kind of just throws off the whole thing, but we'll see. It's a little bit smaller than the first one. It's only like 200 something pages, but I'm excited to read it. Then I got The Secret History. I've heard so many people talk about this book online. I've seen it described as like a psychological thriller. I've seen it described as a mystery and I don't usually read a lot of mystery books. Ninth House was like my most recent like mystery book I've started. I haven't like finished it or gotten too far into it, but I did like it. I usually just read fantasy books sometimes sometimes romance but mainly with like a fantasy base to it so the book is basically about like a group of six 
students at this very elite college. They kind of start getting a different view of the world from their classics professor. And they kind of take on a new set of morals and this leads them to kill one of their classmates. The book kind of follows on how the murder came about, how the students came about to killing one of their classmates. So this is definitely gonna be high up on my list of things to read next. The story of how I came about this book is honestly so funny to me. I did not know anything about this book before I got it. I was in the bookstore, I'm just browsing through the books and I hear this lady talking to one of the workers at the store and I hear them talking about a book and I hear the word, oh, it's Hogwarts-esque. I have never whipped my head around so fast. So after she finished talking to the lady, I went up to the worker, I was like, hi. Um, I heard you talking about a book and you said it was like Hogwarts-esque and it was just so funny. I ended up talking to both the lady and the worker. It also has like an elite society and it's six of the most talented magicians. So yeah, I don't know much about it, but it is a fantasy book, so right up my alley. I'm hoping I'll enjoy it because I just looked on Goodreads. Some people were like, oh my god, like it was a letdown. We'll see. We'll see. The last books I got, I actually didn't get them at either of the bookstores I went to. I ordered them on Amazon. I got the Handmaid's Tale box set off of Amazon. I have been debating reading this book for so long. I saw it in the first bookstore I went to and I was like, oh, maybe later. Saw it in Barnes and Noble. I was like, okay, like I kind of want it. And then I got home and I told my mom, she was like, oh yeah, Handmaid's Tale is a good show. So I started watching it with my mom and I was like, yeah, I need to read the book. I might read this one next because it's so short and plus I'm watching the show too. It's currently like five and my mom is making dinner. So after I eat, I'm gonna do some math homework and then hopefully I have time to read. Thank you.